This is the new wireless microphone system by Mirafac Audio. This is the WE10. I reviewed a lot of microphones in the past, but there's something really unique about this one that I really like, and that's the ability to have a micro SD card in the transmitter, so you can automatically back up your audio when you're filming, or you can use it as a standalone recorder. Now that's really unique, and I'm gonna test that out. Before I do that, let's go ahead and unbox this, run through some of the specs, and let's go ahead and see how this sounds. So let's open the box. There you can see inside the package. Very well packaged. Let's take these out. Before I go into further details with the microphones, let's quickly take a look at the accessories. So inside the accessories box, you have a pouch for the microphones. You've got yourself the USB-C charging cable. You have a wired lavalier microphone. You have a wind protection sleeve that you can put on top of the mic. This is a cable for your phone, so you have the TRS to TRRS, so you can use this with your Android or your iPhone. And you also have the microphone connecting cable for your camera. So let's take a look at the microphones in more detail. First, let's take a look at the transmitter. So you can see it's pretty compact. It fits right there in the palm of my hands. Now on the left hand side, you can see there's where you put the microphone. You have a light indicator for the charging, the line input and the recording. And this is where you power it on. It has a belt clip, which you can also put on top of a cold shoe mount. This is where you will add the micro SD card. It doesn't come with one, but you can buy one separately and put that in there. And if you wanted to use this as a standalone recorder, you can start and stop recording using the switch here. And there's the USB-C charging port. So very basic, you have the microphone there on the top. In terms of the receiver, you have a colored OLED screen, which I think is great. On this side, you can adjust various levels of gain using the decibel button there. You can mute and unmute. And this is a low cut filter switch, which actually is great on a wireless microphone kit like this. This allows you to eliminate some of the background noise. Maybe you have an air conditioner or a heater. Maybe you have a, a busy road outside your office that you want to eliminate those noises from. This is really great to do that. USB-C charging port there. You've got yourself the headphone port if you wanted to monitor it. There's the camera cable that you attached to your camera and the power button, as well as a clip. Let's go ahead and turn both of these on and they should be automatically paired the first time you turn them on out of the box. So you can see there's a blue light on the transmitter and the receiver has turned on. So let's take a look at this screen in a little bit more detail as well. As you can see, you've got the audio monitoring there at the top. At the bottom there, you've got the decibel level. So if I press the decibel button, it's currently at minus six. It can go to 0, 3, and 6, and then all the way back down to minus 18 at its lowest level. So five different options there. Low cut filter is 0 on that side. It can go to 170, and then 230. Obviously, you can adjust this to whatever level of noise you have in the background. And you've got the battery indicator there on the top right, as well as the signal strength on the top left. Now these do operate on the 2.4 gigahertz frequency band, which I think is great. And you can also get a range of up to 50 meters barrier free. Now I'm going to do a few audio tests. I'm gonna use the internal mic on the transmitter. I'm gonna also use the lavalier mic, and this will be indoors. And then I'm also going to go outdoors, test the range a little bit, and use the lavalier mic in that to see how much of the wind and noise in the background can be eliminated. I'm also going to do an audio test of using an SD card and using this as a standalone recorder put into the transmitter without any connection to the camera. One of the reasons I really like this is in case you maybe didn't put the cable in your camera properly or the battery is low, this will back up your audio so you don't lose it. And this has happened to me a couple of times in the past where I've done about five minutes of filming and the battery on my receiver was actually dead and I lost everything and I had to reshoot again after charging it. This will automatically back it up in here as long as you have some charge. The second reason why you might need to use this is if you do maybe screen recordings on your laptop and you do tutorials, like I've done Final Cut Pro tutorials before, and you don't need to film any video, then you can just use this while getting very high quality audio while doing a screen recording. Or even just for things like podcasts, there's multiple different use cases for it, and just having that option gives you that peace of mind. So I will be testing it with the SD card as well. So let's go ahead, 
set this up and I'll give you some audio samples. Okay, so let's take a look at some audio tests. Currently you're hearing the audio from my shotgun microphone just underneath the camera. Now I'm going to be switching to the Mirafac WE10 and this is the audio now coming from the internal microphone of this wireless microphone set. What I would like to do next is now switch over to connect this using the lavalier microphone rather than using the internal microphone on the transmitter. Now I have the lavalier microphone attached. Can you guys tell the difference? I think when I'm doing a lot of filming, the lavalier microphone is a lot more flexible for me and it sounds a lot better than just having the actual transmitter clipped to your shirt, which can be a little bit bulky at times, but this I think is a really great option. So let me know what you guys think of the difference in the audio using this. What I'm going to do next is now put in a micro SD card directly into the transmitter, still using the lavalier microphone because that's what I prefer. And I'm going to detach the receiver from my camera and just use that as a standalone recorder and then sync it up with the video recording from my Sony a7 III. Okay, I've got a micro SD card. I'm just going to put that into the mic here. Now that's in, all I need to do is basically switch this button from stop to record and it will start recording internally onto the SD card and then I can just use this separately. So right now, there's no microphone attached to my camera. I'm using my shotgun microphone again, but when I turn the recording on, I will start using the audio coming directly from the lavalier mic that's attached to this transmitter. I can still use this hand in hand to see the audio monitoring and I can adjust the gain and the low cut filter which is very convenient having this because if you're filming by yourself you might not be able to go and see your camera every time to see if the audio is coming correctly, if you can monitor it properly and all that kind of thing. So let's go ahead and turn this on. You'll see there is a blue LED indicator light underneath the recording button. So the audio currently is now coming directly from the micro SD card on my transmitter. And I'm also using the lavalier microphone for this. But at the same time, I can just keep this receiver in my hand just to monitor the audio. So like I mentioned, there's multiple use cases why you would want to do this. It's a bit of a peace of mind and security to have backup of your audio just in case you lose it for whatever reason. But I'm going to do a lot of Final Cut Pro tutorials for my YouTube channel and I'm going to use this to record rather than using the internal microphone of my MacBook Pro. So for me, this is a great option. Now the last test that I want to do is I want to head outside, give you a bit of a range test in the audio using the lavalier microphone and I will connect this back to my Sony a7 III for the receiver and let's see how it sounds outdoors. Okay, so I'm just outside now in my back garden. The birds are chirping. There's a busy road just on the other side of my house. Can you guys still hear me quite clearly? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch on the backup recording onto the micro SD card. There we go. It's now recording on here. So I'm gonna go walk this way. You might hear the audio cuts off, but I'm gonna continue speaking. So I'm walking to the front of my house, but at the same time, is there's a backup recording happening. And I am now at the front of my house. So the might have cut off. But because I am now obstructed and have the recording on my SD card, I can still use that and sync it up with my video. So I'm gonna go walk this way. You might hear the audio cuts off, but I'm gonna continue speaking. So I'm walking to the front of my house, but at the same time, I'm now blocked by the house to the receiver, so you guys might not be able to hear me. But what I really like about this is there's a backup recording happening directly onto the micro SD card and I am now standing at the front of my house so the original audio going directly into the video might have cut off but because I am now obstructed and have the recording on my SD card I can still use that and sync it up with my video and for me that's one of the best features about this microphone so what do you guys think of the audio when it's outdoors 
I went towards a busy road. I've got noises from birds in the trees in the background and it's not too windy, but there's a lot of ambient noises coming from my background. So it's a huge thumbs up from me. Right, so back indoors, I have the receiver connected back to my camera using the audio from the lavalier microphone. Now for me, I'm very impressed with the audio. I'm impressed with the range and overall the features on this is great. Now it does have high fidelity microphones inbuilt into it correcting any type of vocal curve. Now what that means is it has 360 degree omnidirectional microphones that allows you to get super clear audio from all directions. Now, if you guys wanted to learn more information or purchase it, then check out the latest pricing information in the link in my description. Check out Mirafac Audio. They do some really good camera accessories, especially around a lot of the shotgun and wireless microphone ranges. If there's anything else you guys wanna know specifically about this model, let me know down below. Otherwise, if you did like this video and you do like a lot of tech videos, especially around microphone and camera accessory kits, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like this video and I will catch you guys next time. Take care.